This is an extraordinary story about an extraordinary puppy. This is a story about four and a half months old great Pyrenees puppy named Mont Blanc, Monty for short, who goes to visit his birth mother Calypso. Part father Voltaire. Brother Rooster and remainder of his childhood dog playmates during the winter holidays. And most importantly, of course, to visit his breeder mother, Lady Cathy Ann, who took care of him when he was just a little baby puppy. It was a cold morning of mid-December, just a few days before the winter solstice. With some help from his caring parents, Monty had gathered some holiday present for his family visit. A large bag of delicious treat for his brought parents and other dogs, members of the house, and couple homegrown butternut squashes, and a bottle of red wine for Lady Cathy Ann and for her family to enjoy. Monty's daddy put a piece of fleece fabric around his neck as a scarf to look him ready for the holidays. A small pieces of white fleece fabric with red, yellow, blue, and green prints, which was his blanket when he was just a little baby puppy, and he came home with it. Monty looked like a polar bear cub with watery sparkling eyes. His white fur waved down like a prairie grass in wind. He hasn't got used to taking ride in a car yet and got sick before when he tried. Therefore Monty's daddy gave him a small portion of food and a small amount of water for his breakfast so that his journey would be a bit easier. Monty would travel a few towns up in north of Catoctin Mountain area by Potomac River to a farm with a beautiful view of Blue Ridge Mountain, a place where he was born. He would have to ride in the cab of a beautiful yellow Ford Edge Ranger truck that has the right amount of space for him to feel comfortable. Two side of windows for him to look throughout during his ride. The truck named Pika Truck, named after the matched color combination and the strength of Pikachu. Leaving his playmate Lockett, the cat brother at home, Monty rode in the cab of the truck. With a little help from his parents and some delicious treat made him feel better and excited once he got in. On local road he did fine, but then 
the speed on the country highway made him a bit uneasy. And last bit of gravel road made him more uneasy with the shakes. Anyway, finally, he reached his birth home. Once he saw Lady Cathy Ann, he ran up to her and was greeted with hugs and so much love. She was so touched by the fact Monty not only came to visit them, but also brought holiday present for them. Who does that these days? He smelled all the things around him, the smell of things that he grew up with, the grounds that he roamed around, the farm animals that those he knew of. He was running around with such joy and happiness. His birth father, Voltaire, came to see him and let Monty play with him for a bit. Monty went to a fenced area where the alpacas lived and guarded by his mother, Calypso. The alpacas got interested to see him again, surprised to see him grown up so much and they came up by the fence one by one. But Mother Calypso did not move from her sitting position and kept her distance. She might have had her reason. Good boy, Voltaire. <laughs> then it was time for him to leave, taking just some wonderful memories with him. Lady Cathy Ann gave him a goodbye hug and he got back in the truck. On the way back, the ride was too much for Monty for a day, and he plummeted in the truck and got all over him. When he reached home, his daddy and papa gave him a hot towel bath to clean off, but he was exhausted. Getting wet in this cold weather was not any fun. He looked like and felt like sick as dog. Daddy and Papa dried him off with a towel and got him inside to get him more comfortable. Monty slept in the kitchen by the wood burning stove for a few hours. He did not have any energy to move around. However, by the afternoon he recovered and his fur got dry and fluffy again. Monty resumed playing with his cat brother Lockett, running around the house doing all the silly interested things together. Here ends the story of Monty and his holiday family visit. It is a story, but you never know. One day this story might become a tale, a tale to tell. Years from now, people might read and talk about. Once upon a time, there was an adorable puppy who happily lived with his daddy and papa in the Catoctin Mountain. And the puppy made a journey to visit his birth parents, his breeder mother, and his birthplace for winter holidays. Monty the Great Pyrenees. <laughs>